Method 1. Render out the segment on your timeline, causing the error. If you take a closer look at the error message, you'll see a timestamp, and this is the part causing the problem. So navigate to the beginning of that timestamp and press I on your keyboard, then head to the end of the timestamp and press O. We're going to render this as a preview, but also use it for our export. Therefore, the quality needs to look perfect. So open up your sequence settings and change the preview file format to QuickTime, which is at the very bottom, and change the codec to either GoPro Cineform or Apple ProRes 422, whichever one you prefer. I'm going to go Apple ProRes. Then click OK and clear it out. So just right click above your playhead just here and select clear into out. And finally, head into sequence once again and select render into out, which is going to render a preview of this segment only. Once you have done that, right click just here above your playhead and select clear into out. Now hopefully that should fix it, however if this does occur with a different timestamp repeat the method. So for example if it said 5 seconds to 6 just press I at the beginning and O at the end which is around here. Unfortunately that method doesn't always work so we might have to remove or rearrange the effects. For example on this frame specifically, which is 3 seconds and 3 frames, I've placed an adjustment layer with the S blur motion effect, which can cause problems. Like many similar effects, this is what causes the problem. So what I do is I either completely remove the effect or disable it temporarily until I find another fix or find an alternative. So for example, if I'm using Sapphire Blur Directional, which is directional blur, and that was causing the error, I would just find another effect. So for example, BCC, directional blur, same effect, different plugin. In fact, I don't think BCC has caused me many issues in comparison to Sapphire. If there is no alternative effect, for example, I don't have an alternative for blur motion, then the only option would be to sort of rearrange the order of your layers. And I'm speaking from experience because you see how I've got two text layers here and the effect is on top on a adjustment layer. This has caused me problems in other projects so what I did have to do was actually highlight both of them and place them above the adjustment layer which is a shame because now it's not really visible on the text so I might have to add it manually onto each layer and finally if you have multiple effects on an adjustment layer so I've only got one here but imagine I had another so for this example I've added mosaic what you might want to do is rearrange it so mosaic on top of the other effect even though the result might look slightly different or very different this may fix the problem so rearrange the order of your effects. Method 3 which unfortunately does work most of the time. Now I say unfortunately because it can cause problems with your export. It might not look like what you see on your timeline. This requires you to go into file and project settings general and switch the renderer from Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration to software only. The downside to this is that it uses your CPU instead to render the edit instead of your GPU which is your graphics card, meaning rendering is going to take forever. However, this may be your only option left, so if I just click OK, I can already see that some effects, for example, I think I added, yep, so I've got Warp Transform to add a shake it's not working. Changing this setting does break a few effects, but if that is the case, then just switch back to GPU. And the final method, which somehow works for me. Restart your PC. Yep, quite literally, somehow that works. It's the equivalent of, have you tried turning it off and back on again? Sometimes basic solutions work for the most complicated problems 